Super Mario Galaxy 2 is now 15 years old and one of the greatest games of all time is still locked on the Nintendo Wii, locked behind motion controls and standard definition. Today I'm going to fix all of those problems and show you the best way to play Super Mario Galaxy 2 on Dolphin Emulator on PC. I'm going to show you how to run it in 4K, 60 frames per second with HD texture packs and I'm also going to fix the nasty motion controls. I'm going to make your Super Mario Galaxy 2 go from looking like this to looking like this. So you can play the game at its absolute best. We'll start by setting up the controller and if you've already seen my video on how to fix the motion controls on Super Mario Galaxy 2, then you can skip this part entirely. There's an easy way and a hard way to set up your controller, we're just going to focus on the easy way. Click the link in the description, it'll take you to this page and just download my smgclassic.ini file. And Google will try and tell you that this file is harmful, it's not, it's just a controller sub file, so you can just continue with the download. Once you've got that .ini file, you're going to want to move it to your Dolphin folder. So, right click, click cut or copy, open up the folder where your Dolphin.exe is, and if you've set it up like I have with the portable text document, if this portable text document isn't there, right click, new, text document, and call it portable, and launch Dolphin or restart Dolphin, and this user folder should appear. We go into the user folder, go into config, profiles, and there should be a folder here called Wiimote, and if there isn't, right click, new folder, create a folder called Wiimote with a capital W, double click, and paste in the classic.ini. Then go back to Dolphin, click on controllers, where it says Wii Remote 1, emulated Wii Remote, click configure, go to profile, click SMG Classic, and click load. Then you're going to want to select your Xbox controller, SDL0 Xbox One controller. And if I press A, the A button lights up there. If I go over to the extension, I can move around my left and my analog stick, press the triggers, and then press all the buttons, and I can see that it is all working smoothly. If you want to use a PlayStation 4 controller or a PlayStation 5 controller, just make sure that you choose the SDL version of your controller. I'll show you now. If I plug in my PlayStation 5 controller, I can see SDL0 DualSense wireless controller, click it, and if I move my right analog stick around and my left analog stick around, everything works perfectly. And one thing we're going to want to do to try and counteract the sensitivity of the right analog stick is calibrate our right analog stick. As we can see, when I pull my right analog stick, the red dot here goes all the way outside the parameters of the stick. So if I click calibrate, and all I have to do is push my analog stick down, and then move it around slowly across all the regions to make sure that I get the maximum distance. And now if I finish the calibration, when I pull my right analog stick around, you can see that the red dot only goes to the edge of the boundary. Do the same with the left analog stick, shape it up nicely and finish the calibration and that should combat some of the sensitivity issues. Now that is the easy way of setting up the control. If that didn't work for you and you're pressing buttons on your controller or you don't see any SDL, you're going to have to set this up the hard way. To do that, you're going to have to click the link in the description down below and watch that video on how to do that. Then come back to this one. Now to add our mod to make all of this work. So once again, click the link in the description down below. It'll take you to this 7-zip folder of the SMG2 Classic Controller. Download this. Once you've got this, right-click and click Extract All. You might need to download 7-zip, but Windows 11 now currently just extracts 7-zip files. And what you want are these XML files. I just copy all of these over, but if you have a European version, you're going to want the PAL. If you have the US version, you want NCSU, Japan, J, and things like that. It also comes with these PNG files, which show you the button layout. So as you can see here, on the All-Stars mapping, you have two choices, All-Stars mapping or NVIDIA Shield mappings. These represent the mappings for the Super Mario 3D All-Stars version of Super Mario Galaxy and the NVIDIA Shield one. So it's really up to you which one you choose. I use the All-Stars mapping, so it's the same as the Nintendo Switch. So take these XML files, drag across, right-click, and copy. 
Then go back to the folder where your Dolphin executable is, go to the user folder again, go to load, go to revolution, and there should be a folder here called revolution without a capital R. If there isn't, right click, new folder, create a new folder and title it revolution without the capital R. Double click, and this is where you want to paste your XML files. As you can see, I already have the Super Mario Galaxy ones in there from my previous video. So if you want to know how to play Super Mario Galaxy, it's the same process, but with a different set of files and you can find them on that video. A link will be in the description down below. So once again, just to make this clear, because some people get confused with this, the folder should go user, load, revolution with a capital R, revolution without a capital R, and then inside that folder is where you paste these. Now, when we go back to Dolphin, if you right click, and click start with revolution patches, it should look like this. If it's blank, then you've done something wrong. So this is where we set up the mod. I'm gonna change the classic controller to the all-star style because I like that. And you want to click enabled on the swap L and swap ZL so that the triggers and the bumpers are in the correct position. After you've done this, click save as preset and you can name it whatever you want. I'm gonna name this Super Mario Galaxy 2 4K. After that's finished, you can click the cross, so once we've closed out of that, you can see I have two versions of Super Mario Galaxy 2 here. Super Mario Galaxy 2, which is the one with the motion controls, and Super Mario Galaxy 2 4K, along with my Super Mario Galaxy as well. So I have two versions of Super Mario Galaxy. This one is with the mod, and this one is without them. So now our control cell, let's just double check that that's working. So we'll go to click on Super Mario Galaxy 4K, press A and B, and move our right analog stick. Check on the D-pad. And I'll just have a quick run around in the hub world. And yep, it appears everything is working fine there. So let's get working on the graphics. So if you open the graphics tab on Dolphin, click advanced and turn on show FPS, show VPS and show percentage speed. And this information will appear in the top right of your window. This shows the speed that the game is running. It's at 100%. The max speed that is currently available with my CPU and GPU, which is set at 350%. The more, the more enhancements I put on, the lower this will go. And I'm going to want to keep it at around 125 to 150% to keep that smooth 60 FPS. So if I go to the general tab, my back end is set to Direct 3D 11. You can use Direct 3D 12. And you can also use Vulcan, but for some reason, Vulcan hates the Super Mario Galaxy games. So you can try it, but I don't expect you to have any good results with Vulcan. I stick to Direct 3D 11. For the shader compilation, I use the hybrid Uber shaders to prevent a lot of the stuttering. Exclusive Uber shaders are better, but they are taxing on your GPU. So I prefer to use the hybrid Uber shaders. And I also click compile shaders before starting. That way it will create a little folder and all the shaders will be loaded into there. And before the game starts, every time I reopen the game, it's gonna compile all of those shaders together and give me a near stutter-free experience. In the enhancements tab, we're gonna change the resolution. So currently the native resolution, you can see Luigi isn't looking too great there. He's all pixelated. There's lots of ladders and nothing's really very smooth here. So I'm gonna go from native resolution all the way up to 4K resolution. And now Luigi is looking smooth as butter. The lathering effect is still there if you look very, very closely, but it just looks a whole lot better. And the icons and stuff, they're all cleaned up, but it's still not perfect. For the anti-aliasing, for the anti-aliasing, you can use MSAA or SSAA. SSAA is more taxing on your GPU. If I put it up to eight times SSAA, I'm going to get a lot of stutter. As you can see, I'm already down to 42 fps and my speed is horrific so i'm just going to play with that so with two times we're getting 286 percent if i put it back to four times four times i'm running around 170 percent there that might be enough so i might keep it at that and then texture filtering i'm going to put that to 16 time and isotropic so we take a look at the game again and it's looking a lot better than it did before. And now we just add our HD texture pack. So I'm going to go to advanced. I'm going to click load custom textures. I'm going to click prefetch custom texture packs. And now we just need to fetch them. 
So if you click the link in the description down below, it will take you to this page, which has all the Super Mario Galaxy HD texture packs. We want SMG2 HD textures, full size for 4K, or if you're just playing in 1080p, you just get the 1080p ones. Now there's two options here. There's the PNG ones and these the BDS ones. If you have a lot of RAM and you have a lot of GPU memory, then by all means get the full size PNG ones. It's 1.2 gigabytes here, so it'll be expanded to around 2.4 gigabytes. Or if you're a bit worried about RAM, use the DDS ones. They're smaller in size, but they're just as good. So right click and download the Super Mario Galaxy 2 full size HD textures. That's going to take a little bit of time. So get yourself a cup of coffee. So once those have downloaded, we're going to use the DDS ones. We're going to right click. I'm going to click extract all. I'm going to extract the HD texture packs. It's 1.83 gigabytes of textures. And for some reason, the PNG one here is a lot smaller. So I'm guessing there's a lot less textures that have been upscaled to PNG here. So the DDS ones are the ones that you want. Once those have extracted, double click. And what we want is this SB4 folder. So right click that, click copy or cut, go to where your dolphin.exe is, and you should have this user file here. If you don't have this user file here, what you're going to want to do is right click, create new, create a text document and call it portable like this one here. Relaunch Dolphin and your user folder should move here. Double click on the user folder, go to load, click textures and paste the SB4 folder into here. Now, when we go to Dolphin, in the graphics tab where it says advance, we're gonna click load custom textures. So just to show you, Look at the icons here, the star 242 and the picture of Mario. And if I and if I load the custom texture pack in, give it a moment. And now you can see the star has been upgraded. Mario has been upgraded over here and the textures are looking a lot better and a lot smoother. And finally, just to stop any screen tearing, I'm going to add VSync. But if you're getting some problems with FPS and speed, you can turn VSync off. I'm going to press full screen to get it into full screen. And now I can play Super Mario Galaxy to my heart's content in full HD, 4K, 60 frames per second, and with a controller. If you've liked this video, please hit that like button. If you're new here, consider subscribing to the channel. That is everything. This is the best way to play Super Mario Galaxy 2 on Dolphin Emulator, looking as good as a next generation game. I really hope they port this to the Nintendo Switch 2, or at least do something for it, because we're currently on the 15th anniversary, 15 year anniversary of this game. It's one of the best games ever made. Let me know down in the comments if you think this is one of the best games ever made. I definitely put this up in my top three i'd say at least top three i said top five last time i'm gonna go out on a limb and say it's definitely my top three games of all time i love replaying this every time i go to do a video like this so as a little bonus at the end of this video here as you can see when i was playing super mario galaxy 2 i had all the stars and all 999 star bits so i could just choose whatever levels i wanted to to show you that the motion controls and things work so the way i did that was i went to game faqs and i basically i just googled Super Mario 2 Galaxy save file. I went to the first one, game FAQs, and it has a bunch of files. So I just find the one that I want. So I have the North American version of Super Mario Galaxy 2. Uh, choose one of these files. They have explanations onto them. And you need to have launched a game at least once to do this and have a save file already there. But go to tools, import we save, find the .bin file, double click it, and it says save data for this title already exists. Click yes, import the save file, and then you have import the save file, and then you have a and then you have a save file ready to go. And there is the file. And if you want to create your own file to start again, you can. Or if you just want to go through a level, one thing I really like about Super Mario Galaxy 2 is the fact that you can navigate the menus without the motion controls.